Major Richard Bong of Poplar, Wisconsin, who became the leading American ace with 40 combat victories. Just out of college, Dick Bong entered cadet training in 1941 and became a pilot and a second lieutenant early in 1942. Among the first fighter pilots to arrive in Darwin, Australia in August 1942 was Lieutenant Bong, a member of the 49th Fighter Group flying P-38. It didn't take long for him to become known in the air over the southwestern Pacific. Soon after arriving, Bong had eight victories to his credit. And he had become leader of the 9th Fighter Squadron. As the combined American forces slowly pushed the enemy back toward the Philippines, Bong flew cover for light and heavy bombers, taking on enemy aircraft wherever he found them. With 28 confirmed combat victories, Dick Bong returned to the United States for advanced gunnery training in April 1944. Soon he was back in Australia as a gunnery instructor for 5th Air Force fighter pilots. By this time, the battle for Leyte was going on. And even while the naval fighting continued, work was rushed to put its airstrips back into shape to receive fighter planes. Enemy aircraft, based on the west coast of Leyte, raided day and night. Dick Bong was there, flying missions every day and winning more victories. The Japanese stronghold was at Ormuk Bay. Twelve times they sent convoys to reinforce their garrison there, and twelve times the 5th Air Force turned them back. The last Japanese convoy to be hit was in December of 1944. By now, Dick Bong had 38 combat victories. On the afternoon of December 12, 1944, in front of a guard of honor consisting of 12 pilots, each of whom had 12 or more air combat victories, General Douglas MacArthur pinned the coveted Medal of Honor on Major Richard Bong. The citation read in part as follows. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in action, above and beyond the call of duty, in the Southwest Pacific area, from 10 October to 15 November, 1944. Though assigned to duty as gunnery instructor and neither required nor expected to perform combat duty, Major Bong voluntarily and at his own request engaged in repeated combat missions, including unusually hazardous sorties over Balapapan, Borneo, and in the Leyte area of the Philippines. During the week that followed, Major Bong won two more victories over the enemy. They were numbers 39 and 40. After more than two years and hundreds of missions, Major Bong returned to the United States in January of 1945. Major Richard Bong, representative of the highest type of young Americans who served their country. <laughs> 